Okay everybody, welcome back to Hug Me Hard, continuing with my playthrough of Mario Rescues the Golden Mushroom, which is a Super Mario World ROM hack. Alright, let's finish this Swamp World today. I guess I have the proper power for this specific section. Lotus plants. Are we gonna be dealing with mo lots of them on this one? Let us find out, yep. Yeah. And Sumo Brothers. Yeah, I, I use this ability properly, but I guess I guess I'm using this instead. Oops, right into the muncher. Uh, what about jumping straight? Thank you very much. I'm killing this guy because I feel like it. Yeah, the, this level specifically is themed after Lotus Plants. Again, those are the type of themed levels that I like, like featuring a specific enemy. I'm not just dealing with the same all the time. For example, this one doesn't have brambles, for example. We dealt with a bramble level only. Those are the type of ideas that I like. So this one is supposedly replacing, color-wise, the blue coin, the blue blocks. I mean, I clearly remember hitting a a blue switch, but well, anyway, I guess we are not gonna be dealing with more swamps anymore since we're gonna be playing the castle now. So let's go. Hey, Mountain Walls again! Walking on spikes! Is it gonna be a level... a theme level after this only? Or is it gonna be only a room about this? Alright, let, let's keep a power up of... one of each power up, I mean. Uh, all right, what do you do there? I guess that walking back a little bit Stay in the proper place Getting slightly harder as we go Hey Are we gonna be dealing with the crashers? No, apparently not Usually these horizontal auto scrollers in castles mean that there is a uh, crashers getting featured, but apparently it's not the case, at least not yet. They might appear later, you never know. Not too crowded, so I got enough time to make decisions, even though I didn't Move the K properly that time. Alright, that was the room. So I guess we're gonna access another room with a different sort of, uh, you know, set of traps. Which has been the tendency for the castles in this hack, specifically. I don't know. I mentioned last time that probably I, I like, like, you know, the... Castles themed after a single enemy or a single type of trap and make them slightly shorter for castles instead of making a long castle with three different rooms and three different sets of traps even though this is not bad, I'm enjoying this basically because the, the level in general, the game in general is very well designed the levels Cook Rip, you here? Yep, yeah, another subcom enemy wait, we did fight Mouser, right? hell, it's been a while, I don't remember Yes, it looks like you have defeated Triclide, and I'll defeat you by throwing rocks at you. Basically the same thing you have done in the past. Uh, alright. You get them the same way. And now there is lava. Alright. Cool, it's making the same sound as... Birdo throwing eggs. It gives it a, a Mario 2 touch. Not only the enemy, of course, not only the boss. 
Oh, really? Yeah, you lose control of your character when you throw the rock, so basically I threw it right above the lava. <laughs> so you know what happens after that. I was fucked up in the ass. Alright, that was World 4. So now we're moving on to another sub-map, I guess. Oh yeah, this one, okay. So the, we got this shortcut from World 1, I think. Or was it World 2? World 2. And World 6 also was, like, in this map, right? Yes. But the rest... Each uh, of the... Uh, the rest of the world, basically, the worlds... Have their own... Um... Have their own map. Yeah, so many things here. Ice Brothers... With... They're shooting, like... Fireball looking things, except they are blue. And yeah, shout out to Sonic using the Ice Cap song theme. Kind of a cool remix, I gotta say. Also, Slippery Floor and Wind. Oh, well, maybe the wind's just background. Technically speaking. Uh, come on. Thank you. I didn't pay attention if this one got either one exit or two. I think only one. Still want to check this out because I'm curious. Are those spikes? Or is it just Christmas decoration? Oh yeah, Christmas is coming up, everybody. I don't yeah, by the time you watch this, I don't think it will be Christmas yet, but it will be pretty much getting there. Alright. I was trying to get familiar with it. Ice ball pattern. So there is a little space between him and the ball he throws. Well, it works like a hammer, pretty much. Fourth Yoshi coin. It looks like this world is a little bit longer than the previous ones. So I, my guess is that it's gonna take at least a good couple of extra parts fully dedicated to this world. I'm still gonna be playing another level today since it's been eight minutes. Plenty of time for another stage. Yeah, it looks a little bit longer than the previous ones. Like one level longer in a way. And apparently there's only one secret exit to get which is the next level. Which is the first one I'm going to be playing in the next video. Alright, this one features... Bullet Bills. And this sauce as well. Alright, you cannot really spin jump those from that distance. Or jumping from that distance. But the cape... Is a very good power for this area. Speaking of Hammer Brothers, for some reason I like the Hammer Brother of Mario World more than the one in Mario One and Three. Probably because it's easier to kill. All right, we can honestly skip the checkpoint. We don't really need it that much. So fuzzies, by the way. Oh, these guys. Probably they're gonna be digging out. Okay, not not snowballs. Actually, I've seen that. These guys digging out snowballs, considering the ice world theme, in a way. Well, they didn't take advantage of that this time. This time around.
Uh, I clearly hit him with a cape. Whatever. Let's not question things. Hello, Fuzzy. And that's the end of the level. I got 30 something. 30 glitch. Alright, my sexy and beautiful people of the internet. That's gonna be it for me today. Thank you very much for watching. Next time we're gonna do most, if not all, probably not all, but most of World 5. So stay tuned.